Whoa, yes. whoa, whoa. What is it? Kevin, what's going on? This is how you start in your 2021? You stressed? I smoke now. Wait a minute. Oh, all right, light it. You smoke. Is there rib tips in there? Because that's the only thing you're going to be smoking. Light it. Yeah, you bad. Light it. No, you, you know, you, you, this you, this you now. Let's do it. That Let's looks like a, a joint. You smoke weed now? <laughs> Are you I just wanna... practicing? Is that a practice joint? <laughs> I want to see you light see. it in the house. Hi, Pat. No one does that anymore. Can't light plastic. <laughs> I'm practicing for when I get old and I'm just going to let it hang out. Are you going to smoke when you're old? Is there ever going to be a point where you're like, I'm old enough? <laughs> 43 is when I start. But let's <laughs> like your, your, your kids will be grown. They won't be like, you know, looking at you for, for guidance as much. Yeah. That's what's important. Once Zay Zay and Joe move out, I'm gonna be like, nah, I can smoke some weeds. Like I always want to. <laughs> yeah, all right. Melissa go smack whatever you put in your mouth out your hand. What is that? That's a real cigarette? It looked yeah. like the one that Spice Addles be using. I got a said... party city. Big <laughs> puff cigarette. Oh, so it does puff? I ain't been able to get the puff to come out. You gotta blow it. You can't inhale, you gotta blow the puff. Oh. I got my dad to smoke on uh, Thanksgiving. It was awesome. Weed? Yeah. What? Really? He tried it, huh? He tried it for the first time? Well, I mean, since he was, you know, back since back in the day, I guess. Oh. Uh, Wait, so was he like high high? Man, he just stopped talking to us. <laughs> <laughs> in, this, in the circle, he was just like, <laughs> <laughs> We're like you know, oh, he's like man, so <laughs> and then he went upstairs, and we didn't never seen him again, even since. <laughs> did he did he say uh, the weed was different from when he was young? Yes, he was and probably wanted... called the Reggie Bowl. Oh no, man. this new reefer is definitely different. This ain't even the same reefer from the nineties. This is different, <laughs> genetically it's engineered. Yeah. They're like crossbreeding and making it strong. Every batch stronger. It's really ridiculous. Ew, genetically modified weed, gross. Everything else is genetically modified. Why not weed? Which is why you shouldn't eat it. Like the corn, ugh. Are you, are you um, vegan, um, Meg? No, girl, you see how chunky I am? I ain't no vegan, but I'm gonna. I'm going that way. I'm like, I don't eat a lot of meat, but I do like, I, need uh, I have like plant-based meals uh, three, four times a week. Are y'all doing I a, see a lot of people? A lot of people changing to to vegan. Are y'all you know, doing any like you're BS supposed to eat 2021 nah. resolution diet changes? I actually that's... already started. I started in December. What? Um, I well, I, there's this app that I'm using. It actually is working pretty good. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, Chick fil A app. What happens is. You <laughs> 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 the Filet app is the best thing ever. I will order from there and then pull up to the curb. That's a funny diet pick up. <laughs> I mean, I'm not I trying to lose to weight. Eat. I just want to eat I'm only Chick Fil A. Oh, that's ridiculous. Funny thing is, if you wanted to eat healthy, Chick Fil A options are there, but it's like I'm not going to go there and get grilled nuggets. I just won't do it. Oh, that's an option. Their grilled nuggets taste like tires. I can't. <laughs> they look. They look nasty. You they tried it? Terrible. Yeah, I tried it when I was trying to be healthy. I was like, I'm gonna, you know, Chick Fil A right here. I'm gonna get the grilled nuggets, the little kale salad, and then the fruit cup. And I got it. Left, took a bite, and came right back around. <laughs> it was like, let me just get the eight carrot with the waffle fries. Were they wet? They were like, yeah, like a little bit too wet, and and they don't taste right in the sauce. You need the bread. Yeah, they do. They yeah. only taste okay with sauce. You cannot eat those by themselves. No, no, I'm talking about oh, they're wet. They taste as good in sauce as the, as the fried nuggets did. Nothing's they're gonna wet. taste ever as good as fried yeah. food. Is that ever. the is that the you matter um, Instagram collab? Do you have the thing on the? Yep. Ooh, that's hard. That's yeah. so dope. That Dereese, I, I'm that's my favorite hoodie. <laughs> Meech is a he's a brilliant uh, man. He's a as a marketer, this guy is brilliant. You talking about um, Meech? Yeah. Like yeah. I always have to come up with new shirt ideas because I can't figure out how to market the same shirt differently a lot of times. Mm -hmm. he, had, he had the course rollout. He had the PE thing. He did the photo shoot at UCLA. I was like, man, he's oh, killing it. 
super dope. That's like great art direction. Yeah. And then he's like legit funny. I know he's not, he's not doing sketches nearly as much. Yeah, did he quit comedy? He did just you do the hoodie? Sketches. Ah, dang it. I know. Merchandise stage, yo. Yeah. Man. Merchandise. Better? Listen. That's you why the rappers be focusing on that. They like, man, forget the music. I can sell the hoodie for 80. Travis Scott was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The album's been done. What about this merch? Like, yo, he's dude. pulling up on everybody. Made this year, Pat? Huh? Yo, it's crazy. You know he made this year? This year? Yeah. yeah. No, did it, was it released? I heard, I was reading somewhere, mm -hmm. the McDonald's collab, the, the, he did the Fortnite virtual um, concert, and uh, one of the- PlayStation? PlayStation? The PlayStation, PlayStation theme. I heard he made like sixty million dollars. Yeah, seventy mil this year. Oh, well, seventy. Okay, Dang. like wow. four dates in the year prior. He had made more the year prior, but it required like fifty or sixty dates. You know what sucks about that? And I don't know if this is just darkening the mood, though. I feel like a white entertainer that did collabs with PlayStation, McDonald's, and Fortnite would have been upper a hundred mil some like. That's actually kind of low for what I was expecting. McDonald's. You gotta think about the amount of work it actually took him to do. Which? Like, he didn't, he only had to perform four times. Usually that takes 50, 60 performances. True. For what? For Fortnite? For, no, I'm, yeah, like touring. The Fortnite deal, the McDonald's thing. And I don't oh, think that's true. McDonald's that's done it. Didn't he feel like that with a white? I know they've done Travis, J Balvin. And somebody, I haven't think they, they've done it with a white person. But think about it. He dropped merch, huge merch drops with each of those collabs, plus yeah. the check that the company gave him. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know. That seems, I mean, that's amazing. But it's just, I was just like, ah, I thought you were going to say like 150. Nah, nah. Make right. a valid point, Pat. <laughs> Is that a candy cane? Is that a candy cane? Mm-hmm. Let's all right, ahead. Tyler Perry just needs to hit up Ty right now because you're just like, you're already, <laughs> you're like already a Tyler Perry diary, diary of a mad black cougar. That could be you. <laughs> Look at just the name right now. <laughs> I'm the only one that eats the candy canes off my mom's tree. And so it'll get to a point where there's no candy canes on the tree. She's like, who the hell? And I'm like, you wanted me to come home. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say that like you were sitting in a dark room? Not to say. <laughs> she talks like a villain all day. You do. <laughs> you do. You have Even normal very, stuff. You have a <laughs> midnight sex operator, phone sex operator voice. You know, a lot of people tell me that, and I'm like, I don't get it. I don't hear it, I guess, because it's my own voice, but I'm like, are people just sitting there getting aroused while I'm talking all day? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Apparently so. Look at that. I get it. <laughs> Ty, say Girl something six. else. With Jeff Girl six vibes. Hey, say something up, else. Ted? How are you? I'm, I'm okay. My credit card <laughs> number is 8816. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. So unsure. I, I'm, I'm fine, I guess. I'm okay. This is my credit card number. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what I noticed that, Ty, is when on, uh, on Clubhouse, I went into your room and I was like, oh my gosh, Ty's voice is like... This is what who they be hiring at the phone places. That's it's why I did good on radio because people were like you have such a good voice, and on Clubhouse people were like yo I love your voice. I'm like really? We're talking we about charge comedy. people to talk to them at night. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start reading erotic novels on Clubhouse. There you go. And Meg will be there because Meg for some reason surfs all the nastiest <laughs> clubhouses. <laughs> What is your nightlife like, Meg? She was on she was on the manager call, like, yeah, I love Clubhouse. I went to this one, I was in this one room called Yamateurs, and it was just everybody was showing their yams, and everybody was like, Meg, what up? And then I was in this other room where women were just moaning. And then I was in this other oh, that's room. That's the room. I was like, and everybody was just like, Meg, what are you doing? <laughs> She's just I'm making it seem like she's going through because I'm new. 
I just joined Clubhouse. So I was like, what is all this? So I would go through the different rooms because there's no description. They just put a title. So it says Yamage. And I was like, okay, what does that mean? Because there was one that said you Rock it. Boys. You it I thought day. I had to do it like, like Jay-Z or whatever. And it really was people from Rochester. I was like, oh. So like the title don't match what's in the room. So I was like, well, let me go in here. And so they were like, yeah, change your avatar picture to your butt. I was like, what? oh. I'm like, no, I'm going to go. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, and then I, when I got in there, I was like, yeah, next scoop. And I was like, what? Like, so I guess they thought I was about to do that. Like, bro, no, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> the fact that you were poking around and somebody was like, oh yeah, change your avatar to your butt. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't, where am I? Oh, that's what this room is? I'm out, I'm good. You're Thanks. signing on Clubhouse to get off. You got <laughs> a life. You got a life on you. <laughs> You know what? It's not because of like the proliferation of porn. People are like, ah, Pornhub is too direct. Clubhouse, I, w I need to go back to the imagination part of this. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I'm over the radio. Actually, having access to butts and boobs. Now the voice and and the avatar of a butt. <laughs> oh, wait. You know what the new <laughs> thing is now? Oh, go ahead. They have hijackers. They have hijackers in Clubhouse now. What does that mean? So the hijackers, they look like regular people in their profile picture. They come into the room. Maybe it's a Q&A or something like that. They raise their hand. They come to the stage. And then next thing you know, they're like, hey, you know, can you make me a moderator? It's some kind of weird way they become a moderator, right? And then they make them a moderator. Next thing you know, all hell breaks loose. They change their profile pictures to ski masks, and then they start letting all their friends in the room. They start screaming and doing all kinds of wild, crazy stuff, and then they take over the room. They hijack the room. It's a hijacking room. I stumbled upon their meeting what? the other night. <laughs> I go into the clubhouse, and I was like, why is everybody in this room got ski masks on their profiles? Hmm, leave quietly. And then sure enough, the homie was like, hey, we got to protect our rooms, man. The hijackers are taking over rooms. So now it's trending on Twitter. It's trending on Facebook. The hijackers are trying to take over the rooms. So you got to be careful who you let come on stage. And you got to be careful who you let moderate. Now, I've let people come on stage, and they might have, like, started playing fart noises or something in the background. And then I just mute them, and then I kick them out the room and block them. But wow. imagine a room full of people, like hundreds of them, descending upon your room, and then they just all change in the ski mask. It's crazy. You think I'm playing? It's crazy. I wouldn't even take them seriously because I knew that they all had ski mask photo shoots. That's not tough. This is I such like '90s vibes, y'all. This is like. <laughs> I literally stumbled upon this room. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Look at all the ski mask. <laughs> with what? good lighting? Who's in a ski mask with good lighting? <laughs> What's they the all got, They all have ski masks. So they are hijackers. They're taking over rooms. So you got to be careful. But they don't come in with the ski mask when they come in like normal people. And then once they get on the stage and they get, that's it. Then once you start seeing the ski mask, your room has been hijacked. This is so intense. It's really, there's a lot going on in Clubhouse. I was not aware. Grown up <laughs> and I have, and these are adults. These are grown ups, man. <laughs> yeah. These are kids. These are actual adults. So when they they take over your room, what what's the win? Like what what happened? They just they they, could, they, they, they agents did. of chaos. That's all it is. They were like the Joker. They're just agents of chaos. They, but what do they do? Your room. So they, they took over your room. They can kick you and anybody else out as moderators. They can they can do whatever they want. They're but pirates. They, they, they're literally they're pirates. pirates. They're pirates. <laughs> but like, but it's then so what? stupid. Like, why would you come on this app just to do that? You're that bored? Yes, man. Yes. 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 Listen, yeah. Man, you people want, come on Zooming with the homies. We can't go outside and play kickball. <laughs> Meg, they come on Zooming with the homies, and it's not even 7.02. And they've all already got four dislikes. It's like how? Yep. How? <laughs> I don't get what people. I don't get what people get. Like what? What you get out of that? Too many like people sure. are mean. It's logic. But anyway, this is a perfect place for us to kick off the episode. Let's go ahead and jump into the first topic of the day of the new year. Right after this. Listen, guys. If you sell stuff online, you know how busy 2020 was. 
Everyone and their dog was shipping stuff online. Well, get ready because 2021 is shaping up to be the exact same way, if not even bigger. That's why online sellers like you need ShipStation. No matter how much you sell, ShipStation makes it super easy to manage and ship all your orders from one sales channel faster, cheaper, and more effectively. With ShipStation, you can import orders from any sales channel. You can ship with any carrier using their deeply discounted rate. You can even automate just about any kind of shipping task. ShipStation, you'll spend a lot less time on shipping and a lot more time on growing your business. And isn't that what we all want? One of the great things about ShipStation is it doesn't matter where you're selling. You could be selling on Amazon. You could be selling on Etsy, your own website. It does not matter. ShipStation brings all your orders together in one simple interface, making it super easy to manage all your orders from one device, even on your cell phone. Another great thing about ShipStation is that they work with all the major carriers, including USPS, FedEx, and UPS. So you can compare and choose the best shipping solution for you and your customers. ShipStation even offers bigger discounts to most people on all of your shipping rates. Now, any business can access the same discounts usually reserved for the larger Fortune 500 companies. Who don't like saving money? Now, get your 2021 Auto Great Store by visiting ShipStation.com. Just use the offer code SQUAD, that's S-Q-U-A-D-D, to get a 60-day free trial. That's two months free, no hassle, stress-free shipping. What are you waiting for? Again, go to ShipStation.com, use the promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D. All you got to do is go to ShipStation.com, click the little microphone at the top of the page, and type in SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, and make ship happen. First topic of the day, would you rather live in a world with no crime versus a world with no privacy? Hmm. I need privacy. I don't have a good looking body. I need people not to be able to see it. I just But you don't. show it all the time. No, that's just the part that I'm okay seeing. The other that's part. The uncensored parts. Yeah. Imagine how bad What's the, the other, other parts that you don't want people to see? I feel I'm like you just... his high book. Oh. I wait, oh, you mean part. like, wait, wait, wait. When you say no privacy, you mean like you got to show your general? Like, like, I mean, like there's no, the no privacy, windows? Like, yeah, we live in glass houses maybe. And people are like, man, he's six foot tall. He's yeah, let's explain this world first. Because yeah. no crime, we get it. But what's the no privacy? No, no, a glass house. Imagine a glass house, glass cars. No, no also to lot. hear, you go to the bathroom in the airport, you got a doo-doo, the toilets are just there. There's no, there's no, there's nothing. no stalls. No stalls, no doors. You just got to be out here, butt out. You know it's how, you know how confident you have to be to masturbate as a guy with, in a glass house? You just got to be like, I'm just What about blocking it with blankets? Are those also no glass? There's no privacy in the world. There's no privacy. There's All the blankets are, blanket. are uh, made out of cloaking material. So, it's so it's all- nothing is opaque. <laughs> We're the yeah. only things that are like have like a color or okay, that's crazy. Ain't no clothes either, bitch. Okay, here's the here's well, the but if that's question. the world, then everybody would be used to not having clothes on and that's you know what, what I was about to say. Has it been like this since the beginning of time, or is it a switch like right now with uh, everything we think? To make it's it worse, like- it would have to be a light switch. Yeah. Okay, so everybody's still like privacy, like if you're born into that, you wouldn't you wouldn't know nothing different, it wouldn't feel right. no way. But you're used to this and then it just switches. Oh, and then no privacy on like your phone. Yes. No text on your text, your emails. Mm -hmm. To here's everybody gonna see what what's on your porn page, on your porn phone. Mm -hmm. Everybody Everybody gonna see what 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 Kev orders from postmates, everything. And all of that is out there. Like Kev really (laughs) out here just not caring about his life at all. That's shocking. Something about in between Thanksgiving and the New Year, you're like, ah, I'll figure it out in January. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is 2021, I mean. I, I booked the trainer <laughs> in October, and he was like, he hit me up the next week, like, you ready to start? I was like, no, 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 bro, January. We start in January, don't. <laughs> <laughs> you almost, you almost <laughs> just lost your deposit, my boy. Don't hit me up before. Like, don't bro. talk to me. Don't talk to me, bro. You almost lost your deposit for trying to get to work? <laughs> you didn't read the bottom of the message? It was in bold, in all caps. <laughs> you didn't start your journey in December? Come on, man. It's the year long, bro. <laughs> That's one of my first I'm going to have to go. No but privacy. What? Like, I, I'd rather have... No, no, no. I'd rather go where there's um 
crime. No crime. Wait, so because question. What what is the what's bad about no crime? Yeah. Well, if there's no privacy, there's gonna be crime. No, no, I'm saying the opposite. So if you live in a world where there's no crime, like uh -huh. what is the downside to having no crime? Okay, so no remember in the movie The Purge, where they allow once a year for 12 hours, all crime is legal, and that helps to control the population, and it gets out people's aggression. Oh, so that's maybe good. that's what a world with no crime would look like. No, that's not what we're talking about. No, no, no. <laughs> I thought it was That's some crime. I thought right. that no crime meant no more murder, no more burglary, no more rape. Like you're basically saving lives. But the downside is now you have to be completely unprivate. Yeah. That's, That's what I was downside. thinking. Like it's it's like oh, you're, you're in a world right. with no crime, but you have no privacy. Or you in a world with no privacy and the crime is is just written. It's all over. Okay, that's not that's exactly that's not how I took it. That's no, the crime would have to be the same in the other one. It can't go get worse. Okay, so privacy. Well, right now we have privacy and crime in the world we live in. Mm -hmm. so okay, so the privacy and no now. crime or crime and no privacy is what you're saying. Yeah, it's our, our current oh. world, which is crime and and privacy. Yeah. Or world where there's no crime but no privacy so you're basically sacrificing your privacy to save humanity lives humanity yeah because if you have privacy you can get away with crimes but if you don't have privacy then there will be crimes because i know i don't have privacy because i'm back at home and i might commit a crime <laughs> 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 okay, so no privacy, no crime, or privacy and crime. That's yeah. the two worlds. We're... Yeah. Okay. So that was not the other one would be staying the same, right? Oh, so yeah. our current world or yeah, no privacy, no crime world. Yes. So really, the question is: Would you trade your privacy for having no, no crime? Right. And oh, that no. sucks. <laughs> you have to be a superhero. Because, I mean, you're pretty much saving, you're, you're ruining your own life to save the world. Oh, wait, it's just me that's going to have no privacy, not everybody uh, else? Everybody. Oh, that's an interesting one, too. <laughs> no, oh, heck no. I got to walk around naked. We all got to be in this together. It can't just be me. I, I would say I'm, well, right. Right. I'm not that selfless. Not for y'all. These niggas that still <laughs> owe me money. Right. <laughs> You think I'm going to sacrifice crime for a nigga that owe me 500? Nah, B. Go ahead and get out there. And I hope you get robbed, too. I, I, would do pri I would do no privacy just because at some point we would get used to it as a society. It's going to suck those that first maybe year. No, no, the first point, generation. Wait, whoa, whoa, that whoa, first that, generation. That. You think it's only going to suck for a year? Look, look at this pandemic. It still sucks. It's going to suck because realistically, we ain't going to get out of this until the fall of next year. It's still going to suck then, too. That's going to be longer oh, than a year. Well, well, technically, now we're getting into other things because if the pandemic is still here and we have uh, nationwide like lock-ins, then technically it would be a crime to break that. So a lot Ooh. of people would have to stay indoors and we might heal a little faster. That's so crime... Point. Crime isn't limited to like murder and all that stuff. It, it's it, it would be all crime. So I think well, that, that you would lose all the BLM stuff because uh, we you know we would matter <laughs> and people would accept it. <laughs> there'd definitely be no more like rallies. There'd be there'd be none. Basically, everything that sucked in 2020 besides the virus itself would be would be cool. Mm. Yeah, like when you put it like that, I'm already, I'm kind of like, man, let's just go with no privacy for, for no crime. Because look, at the end of the day, I'm trying to do what I do for my son and I don't want him to have to deal with cops killing him because of the color of his skin. So if that means that I got to deal with y'all seeing my stretch marks and looking at my text, which there's nothing in there, then you're welcome to. No privacy. Just, what time is Michael's open? I need to pick up some more. Uh, corduroy for my scrapbook. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody would have to go to speed limit though. That would suck. That Yo, part. I got a speeding ticket by going. I was going twenty over the speed limit, and in LA they automatically make you go to court for for speeding ticket. You can't just pay right away. Really? really? They do that in Virginia too. Yeah, remember to hear that's the same thing they do with you. But you got to make a whole big deal to to pay it. You can't just go online like a parking ticket.
What were you guys speeding through hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there was a different play you would have been you could have said that was funnier, but it, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> Better food. Um, I'd say yeah. Look, what is it? What does it say? We can't see it. That's Virginia's that's, ticket. That's the, they finally sent the ticket. Yeah. God, dog, yeah, that a ticket was, in Virginia. That was like March, bro. I told you, COVID. Listen, man. They um, they. The, yeah. I had to get a lawyer for it. I had to get the lawyer because it was twenty over the speed limit. He knocked it down, and it, what did it get knocked down to? Uh, buh, 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 buh. I don't even remember, but they knocked it down basically to something that wasn't um, able for me to get a warrant for and also go points. So now I just got to pay the 291. What did you get a ticket for? Driving points. off brisket? <laughs> I was drunk off barbecue sauce. I was taking <laughs> shots of Casey Matthews. Wild brisket, man. <laughs> 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 He was how many points a year? You You never used to be like this. I've been hanging around y'all way too much. Uh, You've been hanging around your son. You've been hanging around your son. You you just you telling your truth right now. No, God, God, that girl said driving while brisket. I just want to say one more time. (laughs) You imagine a cop pulling to hear over like so. Had a few tonight. (laughs) (laughs) Smells like barbecue in this car. You got all the barbecue sauce on your face. I don't know what you're talking about, officer. You're like, let me see your hands. I'm like, uh. (laughs) He he breathes into the thing. It just says brisket. (laughs) Get out of the car. They 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 test what I've eaten by giving me a wet nap. And if it comes back... (laughs) Sir, you Hello, breathe the you you breathe the hickory. Get out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> you have mesquite breath. <laughs> <I'm> mesquite. <laughs> you reek of sweet meat, sir. Get your ass out of here. Oh, you're uh, on the old smoker tonight, are you? Uh, <laughs> no, sir, officer. No, Looking sir, officer. I just, I just had a tonight. salad. <laughs> I just had a salad. <laughs> Get out of the car now. He opens the car door, our sweet baby rays starts falling out. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> bag of cheese, coleslaw, coleslaw. Nobody eats coleslaw unless there's barbecue. Uh, uh, I'm holding it for a friend. I'm holding it for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> and then the uh what is it the sobriety test is i'm taking your blood and be like ah I spill a brisket <laughs> you ruined it man i had a good I knew, thing I, <laughs> one more. I knew it wasn't gonna work i knew it was too long it was too wordy it was, i knew it she was like okay i ain't <laughs> driving while brisket she was like what, what would jk rowling do for a joke <laughs> <laughs> Chapter one. <laughs> Whatever, Kevin. You're, you're not driving while meatloaf. Oh, Meg, just you were ahead. Okay, next. Uh, yeah, I would like to live yeah. in a world with no privacy and no crime. <laughs> Final answer. Ooh. Oh, man. I agree. I would do the privacy thing and then I would immediately get into real estate and start selling glass houses. <laughs> I want the. I, I want I want my privacy. Get rid of the crime. Wait, that's not an option. It's not an option. I want the best. Of both. <laughs> it's privacy and crime, or no privacy, no crime. That's what I said. No, Ty, that's you not. You wanted to keep your privacy. If you want privacy, then you also say you want crime. Yeah, I want the crime. That's what I said. Uh, <laughs> oh, you want crime? You don't care. Murder, no all that. Yeah. Give me the crime. Kill people and let me be to myself. <laughs> you would save the world, though. <laughs> Who gives a fuck about the world? I care about myself. <laughs> <laughs> look at me. Do you look at my face? Do you see how different I am? The glow and the energy and the happiness, it's gone. It's because I don't have privacy. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, what you doing? Uh, no crime, no privacy. What? 
Yeah, man. How about you? We've been through. You're it. gonna. Oh right, no crime. Okay, I get why we. That was it's okay. Cause he's a nice guy. I'm not gonna do no crime. You gonna mean, show your muffin top to the world for 24 hours a day? <laughs> that's what it takes. <laughs> I'm gonna start with. <laughs> oh, All right. No. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. What no. Now we're gonna go Kevin. on to the next topic right no. after this. <laughs> All right, guys, it's 2021, and this is the time when everyone wants to jump on the health wagon. They want to get their body in shape, and I absolutely support it. Whatever you're doing, if you're taking multivitamins, I want to ask you, do you really know what's in your multivitamin? A lot of them have sugars, GMOs, synthetic fillers, artificial colorants, but you don't have to worry about that with Ritual because Ritual isn't your typical multivitamin. Ritual's clean, vegan-friendly formula is made with key nutrients and forms your body can actually use. No shady extras, okay? I've been taking Ritual since we first started doing ads with them, and I have to admit that it is one of the best multivitamins I've ever taken in my life. I feel more energized to finish my day strong. I feel like I have more pep in my step, and I would absolutely encourage you guys to check it out. Ritual is formulated with key nutrients, including vitamin D3, to help fill in the gaps of your diet. One of the things I absolutely disliked about most multivitamins was that that fishy burp taste that you get afterwards. Ugh! Ugh, it is the absolute worst. However, Ritual's fresh tasting delayed release capsules are designed to dissolve later in less sensitive areas of the stomach so you can take them with or without food. Another great thing about Ritual is that you'll always know where your nutrients come from thanks to Ritual's one-of-a-kind visible supply chain. And if you signed up with Ritual, your multivitamins are delivered to your door every month with free shipping always. You can start, snooze, or cancel your subscription anytime. And if you don't love Ritual within your first month, they'll even refund your order. Listen, guys, you deserve to know what's in your multivitamin. That's why Ritual is offering my listeners 10% off your first three months. All you have to do is go to ritual.com slash squad. Again, go to ritual.com slash squad. S-Q-U-A-D-D to start your ritual today. Next topic of the day we have, would you rather hunt for your food for the rest of your life or only shop at the dollar store for your food? For food? Yeah. Yeah, that's and pretty terrible. Everything you eat can only come from the dollar store. I've only seen candy at, at the dollar store. Ah, they no, sell food. at the 99 cent store, they be having Ooh. like fresh produce. I mean, they, their version of fresh. Yeah, I was just going to say, fresh is subjective. It is. Yeah, they be having steaks and, and stuff in the freezer. Nah, man. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm going to hunt. See, I want to say I would hunt, but the problem is I have the aim of a blind man, so I can't really, like, what would I, I would starve. I, I would just have to be vegan for real, because I'm just out here eating plants. No, well, you can set oh, traps. You to be vegan. If you have to hunt, if you have to hunt for your food, then you could just be vegan. But well, I mean, you could be pescatarian. You could be pescatarian. You can fish. Do you, you know can, how to you fish? Know, that is still hunting. How am I get a fish? I got to hook it. Hunting. You don't know how to fishing is not. No, I fish. know how to fish. I don't know how to get them to come on the hook where I can eat them. They don't come on my they don't ever come on my hook. That's <laughs> fishing. That's literally fishing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how to fish then. You know how to be on a boat with a fishing pole. <laughs> exactly. If you can't get them on the hook, then you don't know how to fish. You know how to be on a boat. To fish. I just can't, you know. That's a, Meg is just throwing an empty hook in the water. She ain't put no bait on it or nothing. She like a cartoon <laughs> and I in the back and the bait be gone. They somehow get the bait off my hook. And I'm... You ain't baiting your hook right. How do you grow in Kentucky and not know how to bait a hook? What are you, first of all, what are you fishing with? What are you using as bait? Box choice? Um, worms. <laughs> Only use live bait. Like you, live you actually bait. use worms? I thought that was like I use worms, like, yeah. Yeah, we mm -hmm. use night crawlers. We used to always use night crawlers. What is oh, a night crawler? Night crawler mm -hmm. is it's it's like an earthworm. It's just the big No, you don't to hear you use gummy worms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, would only, I was on, I would only use gummy worm if I was fishing for a calf. If I was fishing <laughs> for a calf. <laughs> How did this become something about me? <laughs> that was kind of that was kind of good. Y'all know how every cartoon character catches a boot? I always thought that was impressive. Like, how? Would it, how? how? <laughs> a boot? Like, oh, what's that? <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> you, like, I've never caught anything other than a fish while I've been fishing. I've never caught a boot or a bag or an umbrella. Like, I've never. 
think I'll eat them but fish. Some litter. Um, now, now that I, I think a uh, STD. <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus. <laughs> Wow. Imagine Pat, you're like, syphilis. <laughs> oh, you said me? I thought you said Ty. God, come on. <laughs> no, he would never say that about me because that's why I was like, damn, okay, Cam, warming up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a question about the hunting thing. Is that implying like meat? Like if you want a chicken sandwich, you have to hunt a chicken, or is that imply yes. No convenience, like you can't go to a store for stuff if you want you have vegetables. To hunt, you, know, hunt. you have to hunt it. No, 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 but I'm saying for vegetables too. Do you have to go out into the wild yeah. and get you your have pillage? Your you, have, you have you have to pillage or grow your own your go, your own garden, something like that. So markets are out. Markets are out, bro. Okay, yeah. so it's not just meat. Okay, for sure. It's, now it's just fifteen hundred again. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Not doing all that, but here's the thing: like, if you get a cow, you know what I'm saying, you got meat for a month. It ain't like you got to go to the store every every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, can I ask somebody else to get food from like Ralph's? <laughs> there's no Ralph's. There's no there's such no thing. Ralph. There's no Ralph. The oh, only in that world, there's the only grocery 99 store cents. you can go to is the dollar store. Okay, everybody and you know what's at the dollar everybody. store. Oh, everybody. Okay. Yes. I'll do that. I'm not hunting. Imagine right. wanting a snack and you have to chase a pig. <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> and I don't want to kill it. I don't want to kill something. I'm not killing it. I don't have the heart to kill it, only to eat it. Right. <laughs> I can't walk through that process. And I don't have the patience to be like, oh, this is going to be a tomato in eight months. Man, forget it. does not it. take that long. <laughs> you think that you're... First of all, you can buy a tomato plant that already has tomatoes on it, and then you take it home, and then you like you make it get some more tomatoes. So you but don't have to start off. Planting from um, season to harvest. It depends on what season, and I feel like because when I I used to have a tomato plant when I was growing up, my dad made us all each have our own plant, and I think mine took mine took like a month, but that's what. Really? But, but that's but that's because when I planted it, it was already like almost a full grown. Height, right. I guess, and it was. I did it in spring, so it just depends on when you plant and how far along your plant already is when you plant it. Well, I have no frame of reference for how long vegetables take. To grow. I thought it was like a year. <laughs> he was like a month, and I was like, oh, "You planted?" I thought it was a baby. I guess you early, planted... early season tomatoes require fifty to sixty days to reach harvest from transplanting. Wow! Right. Wow! Yeah. Uh, have any of you guys ever killed an animal? Like for food, not for whatever reason. You could no, I, I just ate it. <clears throat> yes. I, I've only if fishing counts, that's the only time I've done it. Yeah, just fishing. Now, I've like fish clean the fish too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hate that part. Uncle, that should have uh, I did that once. Yeah, I, I, I was like I wasn't even hungry no more. After we had to do that, I was like, okay, bye. Yeah. You guys you gotta cut it up and scale it. It's yeah, you gotta scale it. it depending on what type yeah. of it is. You gotta scale top it. You gotta cut it. Ooh. You gotta chop the head off. That shit yeah. take too long. And the it was gruesome. I just it just took too long. Yeah. Scientists just found out that fish feel pain too. I was told early on that like no, oh, they they feel pain differently. So we were like, oh okay. Why yeah, wouldn't they feel pain? I, I was told as a child. I was told a lot of things as Did a they child. They scream. Well, if they do, we don't understand it because we keep doing it. <laughs> no, <laughs> people don't we care. Doctors, like screaming out when they get put in the in the boiling water. No, that's no, not them screaming. That's the pressure between the shell and their their meat escaping. But it sounds or, like screaming. Oh, what really? if they are screaming? No. It's a hiss. <laughs> it's not them screaming. That's just wild. They're like ah! the scream comes out as the the you know broken bones area. No, it, there's first of all, they don't have no bones. Technically, their shell is a bone. They have an exoskeleton, so it's not it's like it's the hiss comes out, huh? That's but really what weird. if they're, they're just lying, Pat? Like, remember, did, did you see Blackfish? Yeah. Remember when they told us I went to Sea World and they all the whales had the bent over dorsal fin? They were like, "Oh yeah, Messed that's up. totally normal." And then I watched Blackfish. They were like, "No, it's not." And I was like, "Wait." <laughs> they lied and see the work. wild ones are like fully erect. Yeah. <laughs> it it says, is. What if the scientists are just saying the lobsters are not screaming, but they really are? This is what it says. Uh, I just looked it up. It says, I, I believe they're screaming. Words. It Cooks. sounds like a teapot, yeah. though. So I believe it's air pressure. 
Yeah, it is. It's, a, it's more of a hiss. Lobsters have no vocal cords or throats. The sound you hear isn't screaming. It's the sound of air expanding as it heats, rushing from the lobster's body. See, I know some stuff. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like how uh, white supremacists treat black people. We're we're denying the existence of what the lobsters are experiencing. <laughs> they are feeling pain. They no, have been telling us for years that it hurts when we do this to them. And we're like, no, it's just their shell and the, the sting. That's it's, they're not screaming. They don't have vocal beat. cords. I the lobsters matter. Except we can scientifically prove that the lobsters are in fact. <laughs> but they could also <laughs> say at one point that, 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 that black that. people were property. They would say that, that black people are genetically inferior. They would, science would scientists would be like, no, they're genetically inferior. They are, you know, scientifically dumber than white people. And and they mm -hmm. back in the day they did use to experiment on black people and say yep. because black people didn't feel pain. So. But isn't that different than yeah. the, the source of a noise that you can actually like figure out and say that that's it? But see, that's how it starts. <laughs> they didn't think that us doing this when we didn't want to get on the boat was struggle. No, they just were like, oh, that's how they are. <laughs> why, why? And are you gonna eat a lobster roll after this? Absolutely, I'm still gonna do it. I would eat lobster still, yeah. Y'all say that you know what's super rude of us. We go to Red Lobster and pass by the live lobsters, like we're finna eat you guys. <laughs> and you can't you be like, I want that one right there. <laughs> That's wild. And they're just in there like, you want me for what? <laughs> they don't understand. <laughs> they don't like, get what's I going on. How bad that is. I want you in a pizza. I want you in some soup. I want you in with <laughs> pasta. That that doesn't work for any other animal, though. I don't know why we don't care about sea creatures, but if you had to pass like a little baby pig and be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah," for a breakfast spot, <laughs> and you were just I'm like, still it eating day. it. Would you know, no chicken sandwiches if you had to walk through a coop in order to get the the like, pick one. Like I want that one for my nuggets. Chicken, yeah. You know, no, they do that in um in like third world countries. I was watching this, actually I was watching my show 90 Day Fiance and like the girl, she lived, she's from uh, Brazil and her village, like you got, you go and you pick your chicken. You pick, you tell them, oh, I want that one. And then they go, the butcher like chops its head off and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think a lot of this is how you're raised. If you're raised on a farm like Dwight uh, from the yeah, office, yeah. It was just like, bro, what are y'all talking about? We kill, this is what we, we raise them for meat. We kill them, we bleed them, we eat them. What is, what is your deal? I think we just, in America, we've been blessed or cursed to be so far from removed from the process. We can literally be like, ill. Yeah. Ew. Do you think if you think you're born, you're born with like knowing how, like I'll, I'll, I'm okay with killing animals or yeah. is it learned? Because I I know people who grew up on a farm that were still like, I can't do it. I don't want to be around it. You know, like, I feel like it has to be like a certain type of person too. Yeah, I do. I agree that it's part of your person. But if it's normal, a part of your life, you probably won't think about it as much. Like right. you still could feel like, oh, this is kind of like weird. Right. You know what I mean? But if that's how your whole family lives and that's all y'all do, it won't be as weird to you as it is to us. Because you, know. you get desensitized to the stuff yeah. that you see. I don't know. I feel like there are people that still grow up on farms that don't want to be a part of it. Like they grow I mean, up. I mean, there's exceptions to the saying. rule for sure. But that's, the, I'm saying it's just like in society, why in, in this country for us to see somebody shaking a cakes is nothing. And we're just like, whatever. But like you go to another country where it's a little more strict. They're like, how can y'all just like not see anything wrong with that? They shaking a cakes. You can see their butt jiggling. Nobody's a problem with it. That's what I'm saying. Because we've kind of sensitized to it. It's just a normal place. It's like, I saw this documentary one time of uh, this place and they were taking little puppies and they cut the puppies, like they cut the puppies and they were eating it. And I was like, okay, that's where I draw the line. Like, I'm not going to eat the puppies. Oh, but a cow or a pig or like a chicken. Oh, you're out of here. Puppies don't but even have a lot of meat. Puppy. Why? Why would they do that? I don't know. <laughs> like, like they, and they were little puppies, and they just put it on the counter, and they just. And I was like, "Oh, it's a puppy." It was a documentary. I don't know what I. Was well, what is venison? Is venison deer or sheep? Uh, venison's deer. No. So it, it's ba it's baby deer, right? Yeah, yeah I, I think so. Yeah. Oh, no, no, yeah. No. That's a full thing that people are doing. People are killing ripe young deer that are all wobbly and soft. And they're <clears throat> like, that's, that's a whole thing. Like you gotta be desensitized like hell 
to do Dear that. Me, tough, though. I don't I don't like it's it's super so gamey. Tough. Yeah. Yeah. It's very tough. Tough. Like bison. I don't like bison either. Bison is super gamey as well. Bison. Right, but you got a big back like one. Alan, no. <laughs> that bison back? <laughs> <laughs> Meg was watching her own show, 900 Day Fiance. You know that's going to blame it on somebody else. Uh, well, my Don't body. try to take the pressure oh, off you. Ooh, it, it, you eating your ancestors. Really good. All right, All right let's good. put it to a vote. What, what are we going with? I'm not hunting. Funny, man. I'm hunting. I'm not hunting. <laughs> I'm eating at the dollars. Tree, we have candy chips. I'll be all right. That's your, that's your usual diet, your regular diet. Basically, what I survived off in college, I could keep on going. No, I'm gonna hunt. I'm gonna hunt, and I'll probably just do like I could do like crab trapping or like yeah, man. yeah you know, I could do that kind of stuff. Or, and I can grow vegetables, and that's pretty much all I need. So crab trapping, <laughs> you know, oh, oh. the rolls. Soda. I'm not finna do all that. Ugh. Imagine going out to check the trap and it's empty and you just got to go back. No dinner today, guys. Well, like, then I just want to eat vegan for the day. Vegan is fine. Trash. I used to be pesky vegan. It's fine with me. That's basically what I be going back to. Vegan. You just ate fish. That ain't vegan. That's just pesky. No, it is a whole term. There's a community of Pesca vegans, look it up don't online. Give a damn about fish. So how do you about veganism is not eating meat? You can't just eat fish and be like, well, don't care no, about fish. Fish don't count that. for some reason. No, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. That's like pescatarian doesn't exist then, if, if that's the case. No, that makes perfect sense. You no, it doesn't. It's the same exact thing as pesca vegan. We don't eat meat. We don't care Okay, and pescatarian, it's the same thing. So you can't, oh, I mean, you you can't, vegetarian, vegetarian means you don't eat meat, except oh, for dairy. This is how racism started. You're saying you're vegan only eats fish. Okay, I get it. I do get it. Fish is meat. I don't get why no one cares. Even when I asked you guys, have you guys ever murdered an animal? Everyone was like, just fish. <laughs> like no <laughs> one cares. <laughs> that wasn't even like a weird part. It was like, that's that's the, I always thought it was weird when people said yes, Pat. But wait, hold on. Are we drowning? Are we inverse drowning fish by like taking them out of their homeland and suffocating? Yeah. Or well, suffocating. suffocating? Yeah. Or no. they? You, ever, you never see them get hit with pulling the? A, yeah, pulling a fish out of the water is not the same as shooting a deer with a gun. What? It doesn't matter. You're killing them. It's know, you. The saying, suffocation is. That's actually a worse death because shooting murder somebody with a gun in the head is immediate, whereas you suffocate and it's just floundering around, flopping around. That's worse. That's right. Great. I'd rather be shot in the head than drown. All right. Well, I'm going to go with hunting <laughs> as well. So it looks like the uh, hunters have it. Me, Big, and Ty. You hunt here? Yeah. Yeah, he's going to use those guns on his back. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be good to there you. goes the bison back shooter. Run! Bison back shooter? Oh, that was good. So jump into this last and final topic right after this. After the year we just had 2020, thinking is overrated. Between work, home, school, kids, relationships, and the world, you got enough on your plate to stress about. That's why Honey is here to make at least one aspect of your life a lot less complicated, and that's saving money. Listen, guys, who doesn't want to save money? We all do, right? Okay, well, all you have to do is just add Honey to your computer for free and shop on lots of your favorite websites like normal. Nothing ever changes. And again, it's free. It's free to add this to your laptop or your computer or wherever you do your shopping at. If Honey finds you a coupon, it will automatically tell you applying those correct codes and dropping the price in a flash. You don't have to do anything. It does it for you. No thinking, no remembering, no searching, just a blissful automation. It's already found over $1 billion in savings automatically. That means you ain't have to do nothing. The people that got that money say they didn't have to do nothing. I got enough stuff on my plate. I got to think about ads. I got to think about topics for Squadcast. I got to think about topics for damn internet you scary. Listen, if I got one less thing that I have to think about, you better believe I'm a part of that. So shout out to Honey for that. Honey is literally 
a no-brainer. I mean, guys, this, this should go without saying, okay? And in just a few seconds, you could have one less thing to worry about. So what are you waiting for? I encourage you. No, I implore you to try Honey today. All you have to do is go to joinhoney.com slash squad. Again, that's joinhoney.com slash squad. S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D, and let the savings begin. Last topic of the day we have. Would you rather give up your favorite food versus give up sex? That's not this. You can't. You Those are not apples and orange. I mean, apples Shut up, apples. Meg. No, no, I'm saying you. we should change it now that I'm thinking about it. It should give up your favorite. No, give up food or give up sex. Not favorite. Your food. favorite food or your favorite sexual position. Yeah, that's more That's more equal. There you go. It's the same. No, it's not. It's not because sex. No, for me. I'm, in and then your favorite food, food, like that's not. I'm not giving up. Food. You mean to tell me I have to choose between pasta and doggy style? Get that pasta out of here. I'm about to say, burritos can go. <laughs> it's just a remix of the taco anyway. <laughs> we immediately start dissing our favorite foods. I mean, it ain't all that. <laughs> I don't need that pizza either. Pizza's been my downfall for years. <laughs> it's Fuck that little no. Open face taco. <laughs> How quickly you turned on burritos and pasta? I, I'm not Italian anyway. Really, it's cultural appropriation, if you ask me. I don't know why we've been allowed to do it. <laughs> now get back here. Mm -hmm. I'm not Italian anyway. I eat rice for the rest of my life before I give that up. Oh, yeah. I would give up my top two favorite foods before I gave up sex. Like pizza? Well, how often do I really eat pizza like that? <laughs> Every day, but that's okay. I give it up. I just, yeah, I don't feel like this is this is matching because I feel like who in their right mind would keep their favorite food over their. Favorite? You'd be surprised. Six hundred pound life is a TV show. Yo, the crazy but, thing about that, a lot of people in my six hundred pound life are really flexible. That is a weird thing, but what? What do you I, mean? I've seen yeah. a lot. Of, the one lady, she was frying chicken in bed. She was doing looks hey. like Van Damme. Because you're big, don't mean you're flexible. Those are mutually exclusive. No, I, I, that that. I just wouldn't necessarily attribute. I, I was, I was just surprised. Mm. That is surprising. I wouldn't. I thought those two were hand in hand. No, <laughs> I, look, flexible. I, I have always been flexible. I could do the splits from cheerleading like years ago, and I didn't gain all this weight. And guess what? I can still do the splits. Let's you can still do the splits way now. That way. I can still do the splits now. Yeah, and kickball. That's how I like. I was stretching, and my team was like, "Do it, man. Do it." I was like, okay. "This way or that way?" <laughs> oh yeah, uh, one leg, either leg do forward. Or back. Right oh, now, but not the, not the Van Dam way. Uh, almost, almost. I'm like, I'm like this down way. and do the splits. Hit the split. No. <laughs> you said you could do it easily like that. Do it in two chairs. Go get two chairs and do the split. <laughs> so we can see. I can do. I do so all you gonna see is like my mid, like my vag section split up. That's gross. No. I show yeah. you. Yeah. You could do it this way. That's what yeah. I'm saying. But how are you gonna see that? You're gonna just be focusing on my vag section. You don't. Have, I know what kind of viewers we have. Okay. Man, you, could, you, could, do you it could do it. You could do it like your face. Turn to the right, and you're doing a split like that. Now nobody can focus on your like bad this. section. Yeah, yeah, like that. Can you be looking at my butt? You don't have you no have butt, butt, girl. Shut up. I do. Hilarious. <laughs> I got yams, not as not as big as as yours, Ty. But I got a little bit of yams. It's you like some small no damn, red man. potatoes. You got some cans. I think my yams do all right. I mean, they're not like excessively big, but they do okay. I got the little <laughs> little small red potatoes. I got a little something. <laughs> Red potatoes. red potatoes are lit, man. They'll, those baked red potatoes are very good. I ain't really ever had some bad oven roasted red potatoes. I'd be like, That's oh, true. Potatoes are here. okay, I like that. That is true. Do red potatoes make better mashed potatoes too? So the question is, would you give up red potatoes for your favorite sex position? Next. <laughs> I never like red potatoes anyway. You can't mash them. Potatoes. There's you know, white right? potatoes, brown potatoes. I've seen, I've, I've other potatoes. Green potato. <laughs> you just add pepper and chives. It'll, it'll taste like red potatoes. 
<laughs> it's more. Y'all ever think it. about the time and energy you spent, like in high school, college? Well, not you, Calf. Everyone else uh, that you spent trying <laughs> to get sex with someone or from people. If you had used that time and energy toward being productive toward something else, how much more you would be along in your career or life period? Mm-hmm. Do you think about how much time we we spend into trying to get sex? Do y'all ever think about that? That's why that dude Tesla, uh, that that genius who was just inventing all of our all the stuff that we have now in that room, he didn't he he was asexual. He he fell in really? love with a pigeon. Yeah, he fell in love with a pigeon. It was super weird. He had like a romantic relationship with a bird. Them, but he was like inventing almost everything that that built society. Like he was, Wait, he was like that's because he needed some hat, <laughs> <laughs> right? But that's what I'm saying. If you remove that from his life, he would be, <laughs> he'd be a, a genius. <laughs> he that from his life, and he was like a new type of electricity. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's all you need to do. Just remove vagina from your mind, and it's like, hmm, you're Elon Musk. It's like I bet, I could, I bet this car could run on electricity. <laughs> we don't need fossil fuel. Like Tesla. <laughs> so how, said, oh, you could be like Elon Musk if you gave up sex. Would you think about how creative Pat is right now? If he took women out of his life, he probably could create a hydrogen airplane. Oh, uh, that is true. I'd be scared of my own power. I would actually propose adding more women into Pat's life. So I'd be less productive. <laughs> I think that you would find a way to utilize the already existing intelligence into a more creative way. Uh, I feel like he would. I feel like Pat would have two bandanas tied around his neck if he had more. Of life. <laughs> and nobody wants that. You gotta go. Bye, Kev. Wait, favorite what do you think? Uh, I'd rather give up my favorite food. Okay, love you. Bye. Because you ain't trying to give up missionary. <laughs> <laughs> What if he has the bandana around his neck because he uses it to tie up the ladies? I still don't like. What if he has a bandana on his neck because his head is really chopped off his neck and he keeps his head on? Wait, that was a movie premise, wasn't it? It was, yeah. (laughs) What what movie was that? Um, I forgot what movie it was. was Oh, that was dope. I forgot that. Was Was it Tales from the Crypt or something? I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, it was an episode of something like that. I don't know. I'm not giving up sex. You can keep burritos and pizza, actually. Yeah, I don't think there's any food that we're like, you know what? I, I can't go without this. Because I feel I like no, everybody has more than one favorite food. So give up one, okay, I have other favorites. So You can what give about, up all my foods. I'm not giving up the sex. <laughs> what about giving up food altogether? Like, for some reason, you were genetically altered so that you don't need food. You don't need any type of sustenance. Bye. You know? Bye. Cool. Buy food, buy cool. Food. Yeah, if you don't need cool. food, then that's not important. Bye. Cool. Because here's the thing, know. like with your favorite food, you can't eat your favorite food every day. If you did, it wouldn't be your favorite food anymore, right? So right. sex, on the other hand, for the most part, if you're doing it right, you can have sex every day. If you wanted every to, day. or at least five days every out of the week, you can have day. it. But you can't eat pizza five days out of the week and expect to live to 35. You can't do it. You'll die. So yeah. right. bye right. food. And see, with the sex, you can do the sex different. You can do it real quick. You can do it real fast. You can do it real long. You can do it real slow. Yeah, man. Get that food out of here. <laughs> you describe <it> every type. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I was just trying to poke the bear, but yeah. Food all right, so I, I think we're all in agreement that uh, get rid of food. We all agree that? All right. Well, there it yeah. is. Uh, <laughs> favorite food, you're out of here. Thank y'all for watching another episode of Squadcast versus Man. We want to thank our special guest, Ty Davis, for pulling up with the squad, man. And we will see y'all on the next episode next week. Uh, Hope you had a great and happy new year uh, to everyone. And we'll see you next time. Peace.